Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. So many, many hours ago, um, the likes of um, Governor Soludo of uh, Anambra State, Pro Professor Charles Soludo, cried out over the activities of UGM in the state. In fact, they didn't stop there. They beheaded one of um, uh, the state assembly lawmaker in that state, and he actually placed 10 million naira um, bounty on anyone who could get any useful information on those who did that dastardly act. It looks like UGM is totally not done with Anambra State. They have decided to not just to talk back, but to reply uh, the governor of Anambra State with a clam back and the activities lined up for the state and even the politicians in that state. This is really sad. But before we go into the news proper, I would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, less than 24 hours after bringing down Honorable Okechuku Oke Okoye, the lawmaker who represented Aguata to constituency at the Anambra State House of Assembly, unknown UGM, that's UGM, have threatened to move more Anambra lawmakers. Okoye was ad ad abducted in Aguata on May 15, but his head was found in Nobi Dimili South local government area of the state as at Saturday. A resident of Nobi told respondent that a note was dropped beside the head of Okoye, which was dumped by the roadside. In the note, it was written, the killers vowed that more heads would roll. The letter was not too clear due to raindrops, but it stated with the word warning, or rather it started with the word warning. At some point, it read, everywhere you go, you cannot hide anywhere. We will go after you one by one because soldiers and police is no longer our problem. My God. Killings and arson have been on the rise in the state since March 17, when Professor Charles Soludo was sworn in as the governor of the state. No fewer than four local government headquarters in the state and several police stations has been brought down and attacked, set ablaze within the pre period. Meanwhile, some number of communities have alleged that UGM have set up camps in their areas. According to messages, circulating on social media the criminal elements have created a new camp in unubi unubi navy south local government area from where they launched several moves on indigents also an unsigned message circulating on social media gave an account of how these men moved against some residents in igoku local igoku community along obiuno ekulemili road last friday the armed gangs have created a new operational camp in the Unobi Bush, a town located in Navy South Local Government Council of Anambra State. On Friday evening, 20th of May 2022, at about 5.50 p.m., UGM laid siege along the road, specifically at Ugwomba Bus Stop, Ugumba bus stop in search of the owner of a Lexus RX330 who allegedly succeeded in escaping from his car. The Lexus owner quickly alerted from the car after driving it into the gutter at Ugumba bus stop and ran into Eze Chubuke's home. That's situated around that situated around the bus stop through which he fled. However, the unidentified UGM said to be numbering more than 10 on arrival at the bus stop discovered that the owner of the car had left. So they lay siege at Ugumba bus stop for an upward duration of an hour and commanded all the road users this evening to lie face down while they were busy conducting a search of the Lexus owner. Indigents of Iwobu and Unobi in the diaspora were advised not to be in a hurry to return to the village. An indigent of Ezinifite in, in the same local government area said youth have decide, deserted the community for fear of being forcefully conscripted into armed gangs. Reporters could not reach the Anambra State Police, Commander, com, Police Command spokesperson DSP Tochuku 
Ikenga for reaction as his phone was switched off as at the time of filing this report. Oh, Anambra State is now another strong state. I don't know how um Professor Charles, the governor of Anambra State, will feel right now, judging the fact that he had said that all these things they're doing is just to instill fear, but right now. It looks like, and to think that they're having camps and they're saying that the security architecture of Nigeria is not their problem. Let's feel, let's feel the pause of Nigerians because they've started talking. A lot of people with different contrary opinions are talking. Let's feel the pause in no particular order. This one here is a put a full stop to these hypocrisies. This was how Boko Haram started with beheading innocent people every day. This is not freedom fighting. No. And the person here is saying, Igbo people do not kill somebody. Do not they do not kill somebody and behead him. This is the handwork of Idiogo and your handwork of Idiogo. Idiogo and maybe he's trying to say Idiogo. Who is Idiogo? Who is your ogo? I hope you are not talking saying that Fulani is your ogo because Fulani is not my ogo. Let's continue. This one here is saying okay. Rough fat, my brother. They are the one. Have you forgotten what happened when they didn't? When Buhari did not win election to 2011, he deployed Boko Haram to face good luck, Jonathan. But well, this is um, uh, uh, it's kind of theory, theoretical statement. I, I don't think there's facts to portray such statement being made. Okay, let's continue what other people are saying. This one here is saying the federal government should understand that division is the solution to Nigerian problem. Even the northerners need separation today now. The attack on APC presidential aspirant by Boko Haram leading to the death of three policemen while four others were injured somewhere in the north. And the person here is saying, um, government at all level has provoked anger everywhere. We pray they begin to act right to appease the people. And the person here is saying, I doubt very much if majority of Igbos will be comfortable with Namdekano out and free because there will be settling of scores. Another person here is saying, uh, now IPB has start, have started working to sanitize Igbo land. Soon all these lawmakers that are running Nigerian business in Biafra land will run out of Igbo land and the same way the white colonial masters run out of Igbo land. Okay, but let's look at this. Some persons still believe that this is the handwork of IPB. You could be right, you could also be wrong. But I think that uh, if you have understood Nigerian politics, you agree with me that if to elections, yet the elections, six months of the elections, there's always, uh, those days they will tell you, please, uh, don't stay late night, um, don't move out in the night, don't go out on strange places, don't go to parties or places that did not invite you to, or never associate with people you don't know, because those periods is always, you know, Leading with insecurity, some that will from those that will be brought down for money rituals, those that will be brought down for rituals for fortification, others that will be used for scores get settling. Usually, they will wonder those if, if six months to the elections, please, if you are not politically inclined, you are not a politician, stay in your lane. You know, so but if you have if you understand the uh, terrain of Nigerian politics, you agree with me that we have already entered that eve. So it's very possible that this is more political than we thought. This may not even we may have nothing to do with agitation, but then it's just my personal opinion. I may I may, I may, I may be wrong. Let's see that conversation was to take.